I've been wanting to get hold of this technology for a long time. This is a Li-Fi starter kit from Aero Li-Fi. This is not Wi-Fi, this is a Li-Fi. So rather than using wireless ways to transmit data, we are using a light. Lots of reasons that you may wanna use Li-Fi rather than Wi-Fi. The big reason being security, light doesn't go through a wall as an example, doesn't go through a tent. So it's used already in military environments where we can run a wireless access point here, connecting to a client within a tent and that doesn't bleed out of the tent because light doesn't traverse through the tent or through a wall, providing a lot better security than you have with Wi-Fi where the signal can go through a wall as an example or through a window. I reached out to Aero Li-Fi to send me this kit. They've sent me two kits. They are not paying me to create this video. They will not see this video before you. They're gonna see it at the same time as you, but I am marking this as a sponsored video because of the rules and regulations with regards to YouTube because I've received this product for free. Okay, so let's open this up and then I'll demonstrate how data can be transmitted from a laptop to the internet or to another laptop using light instead of a wireless transmission. It's great to see that Li-Fi commercial products are now available for purchase. So you could purchase this yourself for your building or for another application. So what we've got in the box is a access point as well as a client. Nice little setup here. I could open this up and then take out the access point. So that's what the access point looks like. And here I have got a dongle for a client. And what they've also got in here are some cables to connect the devices. So we've got a USB-C to USB-C connector so that we can connect the dongle to a PC. I've actually got another one here in a little 3D printed container. So Aero Li-Fi sent me this. And all you need to do essentially is connect a USB cable to your laptop. And then this will show up as a ethernet adapter. So I'll demonstrate that in a moment. The starter kit also has some ethernet cables so that you can connect the access point, for example, to a switch. They send me a little TP-Link switch so that I can demonstrate this. I already have an access point connected via PoE. So I can demonstrate this. I'll do a very basic demonstration now, and then we can look at some more complicated demonstrations with multiple clients and multiple access points. Now this solution uses infrared light rather than visible light. You can't see it with the human eye. You won't be able to see it on the camera. But what you can do is use your phone to see the light. So on the access point, notice there you can see the infrared light transmitting. Some people may be concerned about the infrared light, but this uses something very similar to your remote control for your television. I spoke to Aero Li-Fi about the health hazards of this, and they say it's fine doesn't cause harm, but you shouldn't obviously put that against your eye continuously. So you wouldn't look into that the whole time, but you can talk to them if you have any concerns about using infrared in a building. Lots of possibilities with regards to security, the big one, but also transmission speeds can transmit gigabits per second and even terabits per second in theory, depends on the implementation that you're using. Some people may also be concerned about electromagnetic radiation from access points. So this may be a solution for those types of people so that they don't have to wear hats like this one. Okay, so in this example, I'm gonna plug in the dongle to this laptop. I need a bit of space here between the access point and the dongle, so I've put the laptop towards the end of my desk here. So what I'll do here is go to control panel, just to show you what happens when you connect the dongle to the computer. So under my network settings, I've got some adapters here. Notice what happens here as soon as I plug this in. So I'll simply connect the USB adapter. It will get power, so the LED turns on and we see a new adapter. It says identifying Ethernet 2. It's basically showing up as a USB network adapter on the computer. This works with different operating systems, Linux, Mac, Windows, but in this example, I'm simply using Windows. What I'll do is put it over there and it will need to set up a connection to the access point, which I've now connected to my PoE switch. So hopefully, if everything works right, it should receive an IP address from Starlink. So the access point is connected to the switch, which is connected to Starlink. This device will hopefully receive an IP address from Starlink. 
So I'll open up PowerShell and type ipconfig and I will renew my IP address. So this is the adapter that needs to get an IP address. And there you go, you can see that it's received an IP address 192.168.1214. So I should in theory be able to ping google.com, which I can. So again, this dongle is connected to the access point, which is connected to Starlink. So I'll clear the screen and let's ping google.com and hopefully we can ping Google. And there you go, I'm busy pinging Google. This is going by a Starlink. So again, I've got Starlink connected to this little TP link switch. It's providing PoE to the access point. And this laptop is now able to connect via light to the internet. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll set up a continuous ping to my Starlink router. So that will allow us to prove connectivity to Starlink through this network. So there you go, I'm busy pinging Starlink at the moment, continuous ping. But what I'll do is I'll take my 2025 ethernet roadmap here and I'll simply put it in the way. What I'm doing now is hopefully blocking the signal. It's still working. So I'll block it closer to the dongle and notice there it's failing now. The axis and dongle have a 70 degree radius. So it could get past that, but I'll put it a lot closer and notice it's now being blocked. So I can no longer ping Starlink because it's being blocked basically by a piece of paper. Take that away, pings now start succeeding. I think a question a lot of people will have is speed. So I'll run a speed test going to Netflix. Okay, so there you go. I'm getting about 77, 78 megabits per second. That's on Starlink. Okay, so 78 down, 15 up. I think this is probably a Starlink problem. My Starlink isn't positioned as well as it should be, but there you go, 70 odd megabits per second. So you might say, well, that's way too slow. Okay, so let's do a local test. I'm gonna test it from this laptop to that laptop using the Li-Fi and click start. Okay, so I'm getting about 80 megabits per second. It's a lot slower than I've had in the past. I've had it over 100 megabits per second. The solution, however, is 100 megabits per second. So officially on their products, they say the data rate is up to 100 megabits per second. You can have 16 users per access point up to 100 meg. Now I know a lot of people are gonna be saying, that's too slow. I want high speed internet. Remember what this is giving us. This is giving you security. And one of the big reasons is I don't wanna look like a Teletubby and wear a hat like this to stop radio waves from affecting my brain. So I'm gonna use light, but in all seriousness, security is a big reason for this. Okay, so in this example, I'm getting 86 megabits down, 82 meg up. That's a local connection between the two laptops on my desk here. I'll run that again. Click start. Something similar. So that's great. But notice what happens if I block it, the speed will go down. So as I'm putting something in the way there, you can see it's affecting the speed. It's still able to communicate, but I could just kill it by putting this straight in front of it and destroying the connection. So there is upload, let's kill it. You can see the curve's going right down. Take it out of the way and hopefully it'll get the connection back. I have found at times that it takes a bit of time to connect back, but notice a timeout and then high round trip and then it was back to normal. The distance here, if I remember correctly, is between 1.2 and 3 meters, ideally, between the access point and the client. The idea is, is that you have the access point on the ceiling and then your client's on your desk, as an example, rather than a setup like I've got here. What about line of sight? Does it have to be line of sight? I'll turn them now to bounce off the screen so they're not facing each other. Hopefully you can see that they are not facing each other at all. And notice the pings are still succeeding. And let's run the speed test again. So there you go. I'm actually getting really good speed now. I'm getting 111 megabits per second. So bouncing off my screen seems to work better. So nice to see that the speed's increased and downloads increased as well. So again, that's between that laptop and this laptop bouncing off the screen there. These are not facing each other at all now. 
Hopefully you can see that clearly. Notice this is not facing that at all. They are bouncing off my computer screen. So what I can do now is use my paper. And again, this is just paper. So, so let's look at the ping. That's now affected the signal. So bouncing off the screen. There you go, it took it a while, but it's back. If I put it here, it's affecting it. Take it away, it's back. So depends where the obstruction is. So if I put it a little bit higher, it's not directly in the line of sight. Pings still work. If I drop this here, make it big, it'll probably block the stream entirely. And there you go, it's blocked it. Okay. So Ethernet roadmap, piece of paper basically can block the signal because it's light, it's not Wi-Fi or wireless transmission. Do the speed test again, uh, notice getting over 100 megabits per second. So very happy with that. But there you go, a basic demonstration of Li-Fi. Remember this uses light, not radio waves. This is actually using infrared light. In other demonstrations, visible light has been used, but infrared is used so that you don't have to have the device on the whole time. Fantastic to see that this is reality now and that you can purchase a kit like this to trial it and see what it does. I'm planning to make a whole bunch of videos about Li-Fi and test it in different scenarios. What do you think about this technology? Any demonstrations that you'd like me to film and try out? Let me know in the comments.